kingdom plante the fourth kingdom is kingdom plante which includes all plants that are multicellular autotrophic eukaryotes plants are also found in various habitats such as fresh water sea water deserts tropical regions etc plant cells have a cell wall which is made up of carbohydrate cellulose and stores food in the form of starch the cell wall gives framework and mechanical strength to plant cells most of the plant cells contain a green colored pigment chlorophyll present in the chloroplast which is why they are photosynthetic a few flowering plants are heterotrophic some live in a symbiotic relationship with bacteria some plants are insectivorous for example the venus fly trap traps insects and digests them and gains its nutrients while some plants like cascuta are parasitic that is they live on other plants for their nutrients plants are immobile and do not exhibit locomotion as seen in protists or other animals some plants show sexual mode of reproduction while some show an asexual mode of reproduction plant life cycles have two alternating phases a haploid phase and a diploid phase the diploid phase is called the sporophyte and produces spores while the haploid cell is called a gametophyte and produces gametes Kingdom plantae is mainly divided into five phyla: Bryophyta, Lycopodophyta, Philocynophyta, Coniferophyta, and Angiospermophyta. Bryophytes are green plants in which the gametophyte is the dominant generation. They lack the water conducting and food conducting vessels, xylem and phloem respectively. Most bryophytes grow on land, but they are largely restricted to damp environments. They do not have true roots, but they are anchored with the help of rhizoids. Liverworts, mosses are the examples of bryophyta. Lycopodophytes are plants with extremely small spirally arranged leaves. A good example of the same is club moss. Ferns are philocynophytes. Their leaves are tightly coiled and uncoiled in their early growth and development. On the lower surface of their leaves are clusters called sori. These sori contain the sporangia required for reproduction. Coniferophytes are cone-bearing plants with both male and female cones, often on the same plant. Their leaves are usually waxy and needle-shaped. Example: pine tree and cycas, etc. The last phylum of kingdom plantae is Angiospermophyta which is a dominant group of land plants. They are seed-bearing plants. The seeds are enclosed in a fruit formed from the ovary. Flowers are unique to the angiosperms. The development of flowers has been associated with the evolution of complex mechanisms for pollen transfer and seed dispersal. Angiosperms has two groups, monocots and dicots. Monocots have only one seed leaf inside the seed coat, while dicots have two seed leaves inside the seed coat. The leaves of monocots are often long and narrow with their veins in straight lines running up and down the leaf. This is also known as parallel venation. Leaves of dicots come in many different shapes and sizes. 
their veins go from the central midrib to the edge of the leaf, crossing and joining to form a netted pattern all over the leaf, which is known as reticulate venation. In the transfer section of a monocot stem, vascular bundles are seen scattered all around. Their roots, xylem and phloem are seen arranged in rings. While in case of dicots, vascular bundles are found in distinct rings, while roots and phloem are seen between the arms of xylem. Flower parts in case of monocots are always in multiples of three, while in dicots they are in multiples of four or five. Roots of monocots are fibrous, while the roots of dicots are tap roots.